28, use factoring to solve this. So I need to factor the 2n squared plus n minus 10. Once I factor it, it'll break down to this times this equals the zero, and then I'll set each piece equal to zero. So I need to factor this. Notice that the value in front is, is a two, or it can be any number. If it's a number, I'm gonna have to bust the B, okay? Remember to bus B, we do the A value times the C. Two times 10 is 20, and this is gonna be a negative 20 here. So I look at the factors of 20, one and 20, two times 10, three times nothing, four times five. Now one of them is negative, so I need to have a difference. Instead of adding them together, then we're gonna subtract them. And we need to end up with just a plus one in. That means it's gonna be this guy. And how am I gonna end up with just a plus one in? Well, the plus is gonna to have to go on the five and the minus on the four. So I'm gonna bust him apart into a minus four in plus five in. And then I bring down my other values, two in squared minus 10. So now I have four pieces. I'm gonna then factor by grouping. So I group the front, group the back, in between is a plus, so I'm good. Two in squared minus four in. What factors out? A two factors out number-wise and an n factors out with the variables. Two n times an n gives me two n squared. Two minus two gives me the minus four n. Right here, what factors out? Well, just a five, and I'm left with an n minus two also. So notice they both have an n minus two, so that's one of the two binomials, and the other one's gonna be two n plus five. And now we set that equal to zero and we set each piece. Either that has to be zero or the two N plus five piece has to be zero. Add two, add two. Two is one solution. Minus five, minus five. Two N is negative five. Divide by two and you're going to be there. Negative divided by positive is negative. Two goes in there two whole times with one left over. So negative two and a half or negative 2.5 and positive two. Those are our solutions to number 28.